I'm really very excited about the programme that we're putting together here at the Hospice of St Francis. It's a six week programme targeted at men with prostate cancer and we've got a, a specialist nurse that we've literally just got into post um, looking at all different aspects, um, sexual problems, incontinent problems, prevention of constipation, all the things that are going to actually help, help that, that man get back in the driving seat. One particular man really touched my heart. He was only 37. He had had his um, treatment for his prostate cancer. He was living alone in his own flat. And when we went to visit him, he said that he literally had been tied to that flat for nearly 11 weeks. Because every time he tried to get out of the flat, he said, I'd be incontinent and I was so embarrassed. So much so that in the summer, he was wearing a long coat to go down, get his bread and milk, and then whip back to the flat. That shouldn't be allowed to happen in this day and age. We need to help men. Here at the hospice, we have got the facilities on site. We've got our own gym. We've got a complementary therapy um, uh, room. We've got uh, beautiful, beautiful grounds. And so it's absolutely ideal to actually start our program here. One of the key things that I'm very excited about is that my colleague, um, Sarah, has pulled together a brand new program called the Warnup Program. This will be for men who, who just cannot talk about their illness and will, let, will enable men to be able to say what their problem is and how we can actually help them. So the Worn Up programme was a way to say how can we help men in their conversations with their families and their partners and their loved ones and how can we help them support each other in the conversations they have at outpatients appointments and with doctors to have more decision, shared decision making. What we know is we provide lots and lots of things. So for example, I have a menu here of all the things that we could do here at the hospice and I could go to the men and say would you like this on a Monday and would you like this on a Wednesday and would you like this on a Friday and that's brilliant and that's really comprehensive but I'm still actually giving them a preconceived menu and what we want to do is to start off with this. So this is a blank menu. I haven't even got here words like issues or problems. What we want is for the men to help us write what is the menu for them about the issues and then how can we find the solutions together. The whole point is that for each group of men it will be how do you want this delivered as well as what do you want it delivered and that's why this co-production and co-participation is so important. So we're not saying it's only going to be on a Friday at 2 p.m. It's going to be what suits you and we also recognise it may not be in the hospice building. It may be down the pub or at the football pitch. It could be anywhere and that's okay as well. And then within that is thinking about how, how are we going to sustain this. But we are also looking at maybe doing some um, DVDs and some scenario settings so that we can be, men can use those as discussion and trigger points with each other. When you're thinking about your application, Think big and ask for help. Get on the phone and speak to the funders. They will tell you how to shape your project, what they're looking for. And one of the key things is to make it exciting. You don't want something boring and naff. It's got to be exciting. It's got to grab men. Otherwise, they just won't, it won't be interested in it. Ask the men. Who are, who are going to make a big difference, ask them what they want. That's what I would advise.